It's Monday, I'm Darren, seven awesome lesbians. I apologize for not being here last week. Um, Sarah was supposed to pick the topic, but she had an emergency and needed someone else to pick the topic, but I didn't find this out until Tuesday morning. So I just, I didn't have a topic last week, which doesn't work for making videos, so I apologize for that. Um, this week I chose a topic, and it is being LGBTQ in the workplace. So I think being trans and being gay is a little bit different in the workplace. Um, kind of a lot different because if you don't have your name legally changed and your gender legally changed, um, then if you want to be seen how you are, you kind of have to tell them, tell your employers that you're trans. Whereas being gay, it's like, like just if you want to tell them, tell them. If you don't want to tell them, don't tell them. Like, it doesn't really matter. Um, now, a lot of people have some bad experiences being trans in the workplace because it's something that not a lot of people understand and a lot of people have issues with and it's not protected under law in the majority of states if not pretty much all of the states I didn't have time to look that up so hopefully someone else does later this week um, but yeah so for me I had a really good experience um, I actually just got my first job I've only been working for like a week um, but in orientation, um, people are already using male pronouns because I passed well and my birth name is gender neutral. I got off really lucky that my mom picked a gender neutral birth name, yay. Um, but I hate my birth name, <laughs> so I wanted them to call me by my preferred name. So the way I went about it was when I got pulled back to put in the paperwork into the computer, it was just me and the man, one of the managers. And I told her that I was getting a legal name change. I didn't tell her I was trans, just that I was getting a name change. And if I could use that name on my name tag, just to make it easier down the line. And so she didn't really know. So she pulled in the other one of the other higher up managers um, who said, yeah, that's fine. You know, and my preferred name was on my name tag. I was a happy camper. Um, and I, I knew, looking at the manager, I could tell that he knew I was trans. Um, and so that, like, I didn't really care. Like, he apparently didn't have a problem with it. And no, he did not, because a little later, he pulled me aside and asked me how sensitive the name subject was. And that's when I told him I was trans, because I knew he already knew. And I figured, you know, they probably should know this. So I told him he had no, he didn't even blink an eye. Like, he, and only the, oh, he told me only the managers are going to know. They're going to keep it kind of under wraps. He didn't even bring up the bathrooms. That's how little they actually cared if I was trans or not. So, it was really good. It was awesome. Yeah, so everybody calls me by my preferred name, male pronouns. I'm stealth to most of my coworkers, which is really weird, but yeah. So, I had a really, really good experience being trans in the workplace, but a lot of people don't. Um, and it can be difficult to know if you want to tell people or not, and that goes for being um, all the rest of the letters, too, not just trans. You know, whether you want to tell people, whether you don't, like, is it safe to, is it not, like, it's, it's difficult, and it all depends on your situation. Um, it's, yeah, and where you live, too, that, that comes into play. Um, like, I live in California, so, it, very close to San Francisco, so it's really easy to be very open with these things in a lot of places, so, it would be different if I lived in, like, I don't know, Louisiana or whatever, um, so that's all I got because I'm running out of time. I actually have to go to work really soon. Um, the question this week is the weirdest object you've ever put sentimental value on. I chose this because I was playing a Get to Know You game a few days ago, and the question was three things you would save in a fire. And I realized that one of those things I would save in a fire is a stick. Now, it's, it's nothing special. It literally is just a stick that I cut off of a tree and shaved the bark off of. It, it took me five minutes to make. It's just a freaking stick. But I made it the day of the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 premiere, and I brought it to the theater. Obviously, it is a wand, but it's really just a stick, and apparently I have a lot of attachment to it because I would save it in a freaking fire. I don't even know why. But that was interesting. So... Peace, love. I hope you guys have an awesome week. If you start school, hope you're loving it. If you're going to start school, I hope you're ready because I am not. And I'll see you guys next week.